What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be reviewing Luke Skywalker and the Shadows of Mindor by Matthew Stover, published by Del Rey, December 30th, 2008, and it's set 5 ABY, or 5 years after the Battle of Yavin, and about 6 months after the Battle of Endor. Alright, so if you like this video then please consider liking and subscribing, and hitting the notification bell for other Star Wars book reviews and just other Star Wars videos, you know, on books, comics, video games, movies, TV show, and uh, news. And there will be spoilers for this book, so consider that your warning. And now on to the Dramatis Personae. Uh, so first up you have Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Lando Calrissian, R2-D2, C-3PO, and then a, uh, a newer character, uh, Coronal, or uh, Black Hole uh, is his code name, or he's also known as Shadow Spawn, and he is a human, and he is one of the Emperor's hands, so kind of like a special assassin guy. Um, he's adept at divination, and, you know, he's... He's force sensitive. Then you have Nick Ross too. He is a human from Karun, and he is force sensitive. And then you have Caravaster, who is also a human from Karun, and force sensitive. And he's exceptionally large in stature, and he's very feral, I guess you could say. Like he's very much like a beast in his nature. He's and maybe skews a little bit dark side, so, yeah. All right, this, uh, basically, this story is of what the, the book begins with uh, the aftermath of the battle. So, and we find out Luke wants this guy to basically investigate and uh, for war crimes and any, and all that, and he wants to, uh, and he wants Luke, and he wants him to investigate Luke himself to for you know war crimes and all that, and the guy agrees, and then we go back in time to the battle, and uh, yeah, so uh, the Battle of Mindor, which is a basically a planet that has suffered a very catastrophic event where it's basically twin planet got destroyed and it's slowly all it's like bits and asteroids that are left over are causing problems for Mindor itself. So eventually Mindor will get destroyed. And th this uh, planet is where uh, this bad guy known as Shadow Spawn has set up base. And the I guess it's the New Republic now. They get receive intel that Shadow Spawn is there, and they gotta take this opportunity to strike because he's a bad guy. And so a strike force is sent. You know, Luke Skywalker is actually the general in charge of this strike force, and initially it goes it goes fine, but then you know bad things happen. This uh, this uh, Shadow Spawn actually has nefarious deeds in mind, and he his attack is brutal, and it uh, attacks Luke's flagship, and Luke's ship crashes onto Mindor, the planet, and people believe he's dead. So, meanwhile, Leia is, you know... Away, and she can feel Luke in danger, so she basically tells Han that Luke's in danger. And long story short, Han and Chewie and the droids and Leia and Rogue Squadron, they all go to help Luke. Uh, eventually, Lando finds out, and it's like, oh, well, okay. So Lando decides to bring uh, a you know, some ships and that, and also goes to kind of help 
Uh, so yeah, everybody gets there and there's this big battle and it's kind of, uh, against the clock because, uh, at, eventually the, the gravity and the asteroids and everything will cause a uh, catastrophic destruction and basically the whole planet will be asteroids. So there, it's very limited time. And yeah, so, and, uh, the bad guy, Shadow Spawn, he wants Luke Skywalker because he wants to basically take over Luke's body and use his body because it's young and fresh because Shadow Spawn's body is this old, decrepit old man. And he wants to use Luke's body to basically become the Emperor and, yeah, rule. And obviously, Luke doesn't want that to happen. And, uh, yeah, so he, uh, manages to prevent that, but then, uh, Shadow Spawn learns of Leia, and it's like, oh, she'll work. So, naturally, he captures Leia, and, uh, yeah, and Luke being Luke, he, he manages to save all of the well, not all of the people. A lot of people do die in this book because, unfortunately, there's just too much happening to save everybody. But he does manage to save Leia because the, the bad guy, he fails at that. So he basically runs away because he's, he's a coward. You know, he's a classic bad guy. So he runs and his death is kind of ambiguous. Like he might pop up again. Guess we'll see later on in the timeline, but as of right now, he's dead. And yeah, so all the, all the main characters survived this, but you know, they lost a lot of pilots and they lost ships and, and that and everything. So yeah. And then, Obviously, we find out that uh, back with the the investigator and Luke, and he he turns in his his uh, I guess his statement on what he had investigated, and basically it came to the realization that Luke Luke's a hero. Yeah, a lot of people died, and unfor- it's unfortunate, but like it's a scenario that like you really couldn't have saved everyone because I mean you're literally dealing with asteroids and planet destruction and all that and it's like really it's like it's it's the good thing is that he actually saved people at all like because everyone involved could have died so yeah he's he's feeling a little bit hard on himself because you know it was a lot of people died and you know he wasn't able to save them but yeah so Well, that's about it of that book. What I liked. I liked that this was a a Luke book. You know, it was focused on Luke, but we did get, you know, some Han and some Leia and some Lando and some other characters, which is cool. But it was primarily a Luke book, which I like because I I like Luke. It's a good thing. There were Mandalorians in this book, which I think were cool. They did participate in the Battle of Mindor. I think that's awesome. Uh, it's cool to see Rogue Squadron. I haven't read Rogue Squadron yet, but it's nice to get a little bit of a, you know, an, I guess an introduction to their heroics. What I didn't like, um, yeah, when I was reading this book, I, I, was, I wasn't exactly sure if I liked it or didn't like it. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, there was just a few things that maybe I felt like were a little... You know, I don't know if I was enjoying this book all the way through. Um, I I really wasn't. I really wasn't in favor of having like evil Luke. So I I don't like that when when that happens in stories. I don't like because I just feel like it just erases all the progress that that character's made. But yeah, luckily, that didn't really happen. So that that's good. So I mean, there really isn't a whole lot that I didn't like. Um. So I think I'll just leave it at that. And I'm going to give this book, 
I'll give it a 6.5. You know, it was it, it it was it was decent, but it's not my favorite book, so. Well, what did you think of this book if you've read it? You can let me know in the comment section down below. And uh yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.